Hi, if you're watching this from home during the COVID-19 crisis, be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video for a free special offer. Hey, what's up guys? Today I have a brand new smash and move for you. This one's gonna be on the good old hamstrings. That's the back of the leg for those of you who weren't quite sure. Now, this is one of my absolute favorite ones to do because honestly, this is one of those smash and moves that hurts so good. There's actually been times when I was hanging out with people where I've had a lacrosse ball kind of under my hamstrings, moving my leg around. They didn't know what the heck I was doing, but uh, I was getting in some hamstring love uh, while hanging out. So definitely a great one to do that I love to do often. And this is gonna be great for people who recently have increased a lot of their running, maybe increased their deadlifting or posterior chain exercise, but most of all for you people who do a lot of desk sitting. That desk sitting can sometimes leave us with some tighter hip flexors. And when we have tight hip flexors, that tends to leave us in this kind of lumbar extended booty out position. When we stand, which by default puts our hamstrings in a lengthened position whenever you're standing, and the hamstrings don't like to feel like they're being lengthened all the time. So whenever they feel like they're threatened to be longer, they tend to reflexively get shorter. So before you do this smash and move, I'd actually recommend if you have a hard time touching the ground to go ahead, test yourself, reach down as far as you can towards the ground. Let's go feet together, knees locked out, see exactly how far you can get, make a mark, do this smash and move, and then retest, see if you've made an improvement, yes or no. Okay. Without further ado, let's start. The smash of this smash and move is great. You're going to take your handy dandy lacrosse ball. You're going to find a surface that you can sit on. I like a surface that has a little bit of pliability to it, but not too much, but a normal chair will do. Find something that works for you You can take your lacrosse ball. And we're going to do one of a couple things with it. One, you can just simply sit that lacrosse ball under your hamstring and just kind of feather your leg back and forth through those muscles. Now there's a bunch of muscles in the hamstrings. There's actually, um, it's kind of like a left and a right or an inside and outside muscle group. And you want to work through both of those. Now, as I kind of get to my outside group, I can feel, okay, there's some tenderness there. I'm going to check that more inner thigh group as well. And if I find an area that's particularly tender, I'm just going to hang out, do some deep breathing. And every time as I exhale, I might try to sink that ball a little bit deeper into the muscle or put maybe just a little bit more pressure on it. So it might look like this. I might just kind of lean over, get a forearm over my leg and then take inhale in through my nose. And as I exhale out through my mouth, I'm going to put just a little bit more pressure down through my forearm here into my leg, putting more pressure into that ball. Now, again, you don't want to crush yourself here. The goal is not to make yourself uh, whine and wince with pain. All right, the goal is to get the muscle to gradually relax. So if you're just kind of doing this sitting breathing technique, hang out, do it for two, three minutes, let that ball sink in a little bit more. Now, another technique that I love to do is to floss that tissue through. And so I might just pin that ball over an area that's moderately tender and then just flex my leg back and forth. And that's gonna make that hamstring slide back and forth through where the ball is and where the bone is. And I might get my inside hamstring group by turning inward. I get my outside hamstring group out this way. And whatever spot you choose, I just spend, you know, 30, 40 seconds, a minute, however long you want, and just kind of work on that area. Now, don't neglect these areas that are closer up to your butt. Those are actually some of the areas where you find some of the most trigger points. So get that ball right just an inch or two, kind of below that sit bone, feather back and forth, and oh man, there are some tender spots in there, right where that hamstring inserts up into that bone there. And I'm still gonna floss back and forth. So explore that a little bit. Hopefully it hurts. Real good. All right, now of course we're gonna do the move portion of our smash and move. And the reason that the move is so important is if you just did the smash, then all you're doing is kind of 
helping to relax the muscle, get those tissues to even out, dealing with some of that pain. But if you don't follow that up with the move, then that pain is probably going to come back just the same in a few days. But if we can methodically also perform this move portion, then we're going to start to see that long-term effect. And the move just means that we're going to use a little bit of resistance, like a small to moderate weight, and we're going to move with that weight through the entire range of the muscle's range of motion. So for our move today, we're going to do two exercises. The first is going to be a three-part RDL. RDL is a Romanian deadlift, also known as a straight leg deadlift. What are you going to do? So you're going to grab a light to moderate weight. You are going to set your core nice and neutral so that your back position is not going to change. You're going to slightly unlock your knees and from this position your knees are never going to change. So they're not going to bend or extend any more than they are now. And you're just going to tip forward at your hips until you couldn't go any lower without rounding your back or bending your knees more and you feel some good tension on the hamstrings and then you're going to come up nice and slow. We might do this at a tempo. Good and controlled. So I want to do this in three positions. We might do 10 reps from a fairly wide or sumo stance. Knees just unlocked, bending forward. Maybe 10 reps there, 10 reps kind of at a normal stance with feet right under the hips. Okay, and then might try feet together. You can go weight in one hand or you can grab a second weight as well, but then we're going to go down with that narrow position. Cool? All right, let's take a look at our next exercise. Okay, so now once you find some space with floor that you can slip and slide on a little bit. Star Wars socks, only the best. So what you're gonna do is you're going to lay on your back and we're gonna do some heel slides. They're gonna look like this, but you're not just sliding your heel on the floor. I actually want you to dig your heel down into the floor a good little bit and really drag that heel up the floor against some resistance. And even after just doing, you know, three, four reps, I can already feel like a fatigue building up in this hamstring. I don't want you to totally wear yourself out, but it should be somewhat challenging. We might go 10, 12 reps here. Really just using that hamstring. Okay, get after it. Smash and move. Now, if you guys are watching this from home during the COVID-19 crisis and you want to improve your mobility and your performance, but you don't have all the tools that you need, we'd love to help a little bit at least uh, by offering you a free lacrosse ball. We have a bunch of these guys at our clinic that are so sanitized and clean, and we'd love to give you one for free. And the way it would work is just shoot us a message or an email if you want one, and we'll leave one outside the clinic, which is on the south side of downtown, and you can come pick it up uh, at your leisure. So if you want a free lacrosse ball so that you can smash and move, let me know.